Hi guys. While the car is at Matthias with the power pipe for having the cage fitted, we are arriving a lot of parts, so we are ready to get on with it when the car gets home. And uh, this package has been along its way for a couple of months, and we are very excited about seeing what's inside. So I thought I might share it with you. So uh, let's open it up. Kevlar parts. I'm a heavy guy. It's so light. Can't wait to fit it on the car. We want to do a bit of, uh, we don't want to build a whole complete Eurofighter kit with uh, everything because we want to make the uh, the trunk and the hood uh, and, and some spoilers and something a big, a little bit uh, otherwise to make it stand out for ourselves. But uh, this is the main parts of it and it's amazing you can have a whole, almost a whole body kit for the car and the whole box you could just lift it up. It doesn't. <laughs> this uh, this doesn't weigh anything. You see, you can actually almost see through it. It's a uh, it's a very nice, very nice quality and very flexible. It's very different from fabricating these parts in in, in fiberglass because. In fiberglass, you put on the coating, and you are not able to see the the grain on the the part when it's finished because it's just be white or whatever color you use. But this you have, you can just push it in because it will be very noticeable. So it's it's amazing, uh, amazing build quality. All those small things for keeping the the front bumper in place. It's a shame the car is now at Matthias. Otherwise. Uh, <laughs> I should make a video when I try it on. Wow. That looks mean. I need to put this down. It's amazing how careful you are with these parts, but uh, it's like when you paint a drift car, you're very, very careful about it. But when it once it goes on the car, you're just riding along the wall. It's, uh, <laughs> it's so strange. Take a look at that. Wow, it's uh, there's so many details in this. Be so good. Not just the shell is is very strong for all of these uh, extra reinforcements. So you have this little dots here to align with the with the fenders, so it uh, it sits sits right where it should, and not you don't need to have any any rubber bands or something hold it in place. Side skirts. Wow. Now it's almost the whole car in here. <laughs> I um, I think I'm gonna put it up so you can uh, maybe make a mug up for it so we can go around and have a look at it. Well, it was a big, bit uh, difficult to make a mock-up without the car, but uh, I managed to balance it out here. And uh, you get a feel for it, how it's, it's going to look. Uh, you can't really judge how wide it's going to look before we have the car, but I just think the, uh, the overall quality of this and all the details in this is just amazing. It is so hard to make, uh, make all those small gaps and edges and make it look 
nice like the grain is not uh, twisted or anything it's uh, it's a very high quality to see see the amount of work that gone into building one of these uh, front uh, bombers it's <laughs> wow it's just uh, I haven't seen anything like it before it's almost a shame putting on a race car but we want it to look good and it certainly will um, as you see here you notice that the the color seems lighter on the outer side it's just because the uh, the fabric is thinner out here because it's made for in, instead like a regular fiberglass when you hit something it just shatters but this is uh, the carbon is light and the Kevlar part of it it's very uh, it's the kind of stuff you use for bulletproof vest it's very uh, you call it it's strong it won't tear as much so if you hit something it will just uh, in the jury pop right back out and uh, I think that's going to to save us a lot of money in extra parts of course you can't just <laughs> ram a wall and expect it to hold up but uh, we have seen some guys crash pretty hard with it and they still use it with the minor repairs so um, yeah and uh, wait to see how it turns out when it goes on the car it, uh, I will be sure to make another video of that um, yeah it's uh, another video and uh, I hope you like it See you out there.